Hi, good evening. I like to welcome you to Poem Praise 2. I do thank you for tuning in and peace and blessings be upon you and your family this evening. We are going to get right back into for women only. We're in chapter number four. Sex changes everything. And this is take number two. And it goes like this. The title is Benefit Number Two. Fulfilling sex gives him confidence. Your desire for him goes beyond making him feel wanted and loved. As we touched on in the imposter chapter, your desire is a bedrock form of support that gives him power to face the rest of his daily life with a sense of confidence and well-being. By now, most of us have seen the television commercials for Viagra, in which a man's colleagues and friends repeatedly stop him and ask, what's different about him? New haircut? Been working out? Promotion. Nope. The man tells them all with a little smile. One man I interviewed brought up those ads. Every man immediately understands what the commercial is saying. It's all about guys feeling good about themselves. The ad portrays a truth that all men intuitively recognize. They are more confident and alive when their sex life is working. On the survey again, three out of four men agreed. Imagine that your wife was as interested and motivated sexual partner, and you therefore had an active love life. How would having sex with her as often as you want it affect your emotional state? Choose one answer. It would have little or no effect. Sex seems unrelated to my emotions or how I feel about the rest of my life. 23%. It would have a positive effect. It would give me a greater sense of well-being and satisfaction with life. 77%. Once my eyes were open to this truth, I realized how often I heard the man code for this fact, but failed to understand it. When men had told me they felt better when they got more sex. I just assume they meant physically better. But as one husband told me, what happens in the bedroom really does affect how I feel the next day at the office. Another wrote, sex is a release of day-to-day -day pressures and seems to make everything else better. Once we see how central a man's life is to his emotional well-being, we need to know what happens in his heart when he doesn't get what he's looking for. What happens in the bedroom really does affect how I feel the next day at the office. Wound number one. If she doesn't want to, I feel incredible rejection. As much as men want sex, most of them would rather go out and clip the hedges in the freezing rain than make love with a wife who appears to be responding out of duty. My husband Jeff explained, the guy isn't going to be rejected by the hedges. And that's the issue. If she's just responding because she has to, 
he's being rejected by his wife. Again, keep it in mind that what he wants most is for you to desire him. Try to see this rejection issue from the man's point of view. If we agree, but don't make an effort to get really engaged with the man we love, he hears us saying, you're incapable of turning me on even when you try. And I really don't care about what matters deeply to you. On the other hand, if we don't agree at all, but throw all the classic, not tonight, dear, he hears you're so undesirable that you can't compete with a pillow. And I really don't care about what matters deeply to you. Although we might just be saying we don't want sex at that point in time. He hears the much more painful message that we don't want him. Here's what the men themselves said on the survey. There's three points. Point number one. She doesn't understand that I feel love by sexual caressing. And if she doesn't want to, I feel incredible rejection. Number two. When she says no, I feel that I am rejected. No is not no to sex, as she might feel. It is no to me as I am. And I am vulnerable, as I ask or indicate. It's plain and simple rejection. Point number three. She doesn't understand how even her occasional dismissals make me feel less desirable. I can't resist her. I wish that I too were irresistible. She says I am. But her ability to say no so easily makes it hard to believe. No is not no to sex, as she might feel. It is no to me, as I am. This feeling of personal rejection, and a sense that his wife doesn't really desire him, tends to lead a man into darker waters. Wound number two. Your lack of desire can send him into depression. If your sexual desire gives your man a sense of well-being and confidence, you can understand why an ongoing perception that you don't desire him would translate into a nagging lack of confidence, withdrawal, and depression. The man I talked to scoffed at my tentative suggestion that a sting of similar rejections would necessarily mean that their wives were rejecting them as men. They warned that any woman sending those signals would undermine the loving environment she wants most because, as one man said, she is going to have one depressed man on her hands. A man can't just turn off the physical and emotional importance of sex, which is why its lack can be compared to the emotional pain you'd feel if your husband simply stopped talking to you. Consider the painful words of his this excuse me, truly deprived husband. Words that other men upon reaching them call heartbreaking. We've been married for a long time. I deeply regret and resent the lack of intimacy of nearly any kind for the duration, duration excuse me, of our marriage. 
I feel rejected, ineligible, insignificant, lonely, isolated, and abandoned as a result. Not having the interaction I anticipated prior to marriage is like a treasure lost and irretrievable. It causes deep resentment and hurt within me. This in turn fosters anger and feelings of alienation. How can we overcome the sex gap? I can't tell you how often I heard a man's not at all veiled appeal for his wife to not only desire him, but to do something about it. Although every intimate relationship has its own story, here are a few ways to begin. Choose to love him in the way he needs. Okay, if you're like me, you've probably been viewing his sexual needs as mostly physical, important, yes, but probably also optional. By comparison, when you've been tugged on by little hands all day, your need for sleep can seem both important and immediately necessary. And yes, if you viewed sex as a purely physical need, it might indeed seem comparable to sleep. But once you realize that your man is actually saying, this is essential to my feeling of being loved and desired by you and is critical to counteract my stress, my fears, and my loneliness. Well, that suddenly puts it in a different category. So, how might you respond? Know that you're responding to a tender heart hiding behind all that testosterone. First, know that you're responding to a tender heart hiding behind all that testosterone. It's at all possible. Respond to his advances with your full emotional involvement. Knowing that you're touching his heart. But if responding physically seems out of a question, let your words be heart words. Reassuring, affirming, adoring. Do everything in your power. Using words and actions your husband understands. To keep those pangs of personal rejection from striking the man you love. Leave him in no doubt that you love to love him. And remember, if you do respond physically, but do it just to meet his needs without getting engaged, you're not actually meeting his needs. In fact, you might as well send him out to clip the hedges. So enjoy God's intimate gift and make the most of it. And that does complete take number two here on Poem Praise two. Stay tuned to chapter four, take number three, which the title of take number three is going to be Get Involved and Have More Fun, too. So until next time, I want you and your family to be blessed and have a wonderful, a wonderful rest of the evening. So until next time, Later, y'all.